final question. How much work must be done to bring three electrons from a great distance apart to within that distance from one another at the corners of an equilateral triangle? And we're given a hint. Imagine the electrons are moved into position one at a time. Okay, now this is actually a very simple question if you just approach it correctly. Uh, um, number eight. Okay, so we're bringing them in from a f distance far away. Now, what does that mean? Distance, a great distance apart. That is the same as here talking about taking vehicle to zero to great distance. It is just uh, relying on the fact that for point charges, we can define the potential to be zero infin infinitely far away. So these charges are each coming in from a point where the uh, from points where the potential is zero. Okay, so we're going to use that. Right. Okay, so what we're going to use to get the work done is we're going to use this formula. Um, well, let's write the entire thing. Change in electric potential energy is equal to QVBA equal to minus the work done by the electric field on the charge. All right. Okay, so let's say we've got our we've got our three electrons, and let's say the triangle we're moving them into is like this, nice equilateral triangle. And let's say the three points are um, what shall we call them? Um, oh, I don't know. Let, let's call them just you know A, B, and C. Okay, now let's define. Um, okay, so what's going to happen? Let's say we first move an electron into spot B, then we move it into sp and the second electron into spot C, and then we move the. Well, okay, now let's keep it alphabetical or reverse alphabetical. Okay, let's say we move the first electron into position C, then the second electron into position B, and then the third electron into position A, and we work out, we calculate or we determine the, the work done in each of those cases separately. So, so let's say, uh, where shall we write this? Let, let's say it's W1. Let W1 um, work done to um, move first electron. It, it is electrons, right? Uh, yeah, let's say electrons, first electron to, uh, let me, what did you say, to C. Okay, now, then it is in C, and then after it's in C, then we do the work. So, work done, uh, W2 follows W1, when there's already an electron present at C. So now this is the work done, to move second electron to B, and then W3, work done to move third electron to A. Okay, so how are we going to find the work done? What, what formula are we going to use? Well, we're going to use this one. Um, the work done is equal to the charge Q times VBA. So let's say the charge Q, let's indicate the Q somewhere. Uh, oh, there's, let's, well, there's some other things we missed. Uh, this equilateral triangle, so we've got the L's. Uh, and let's say L, the L is this uh, equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 10 meters. Okay, uh, I think you call that one Armstrong, yes. And the uh, charge Q is equal to this... Uh, um, minus 1.602 times 10 to the minus... Ugh, uh, yeah, it's fine to just use 1.6 in this case. Yeah, 1.602 wouldn't be wrong, but uh, I think it's enough to just work with 1.6 minus uh, um, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Right. Uh, okay. Now, what is the work done? It is equal to Q times VBA. But now, notice carefully, what is what does this represent? VB, WBA. It is the work done by the electric field to get the um, uh, charge from A to B. The work done by the electric field. This, so this is not going to be the work done that they're asking for in the, 
in the question. They're just asking generally what, how much work must be done. This is like asking, I want to lift a rock from the first floor to the fifth floor. How much work must be done? And then you go ahead and calculate the work that gravity that has to do on the on the rock, and then get the negative value, and then say it's minus 150 joules. Uh, that, that, I don't think that is what the person would be after. I mean, I think more naturally they would be after um, the work that would have to be done by you or whatever agency is uh, overcoming gravity to move it in that position. Um, so similarly, we're not going to provide the work done by electric field. We're going to be providing work, giving the work done by uh, whatever else some manages to get these electrons close to one another. So you see, they don't want to be close to one another, they repel each other, so they have to be forced into this arrangement. I don't know how exactly you would do that, some magical tweezers perhaps, but some agency are moving these electrons from inf infinitely far away into this configuration, one at each point of the triangle. We're going to work out the work done by whatever that is, to get the electrons into that position. And that is going to be minus the work done by um, uh, the electric field to get uh, the electrons in that position. Okay, so let's say, let's, let's officially write that. Uh, so W1 is going to be equal to, using our notation that we used to, this is going to be equal to minus the work done to get it from, to get it to uh, two point C from infinitely far away uh, and uh, W2 will be minus the work done to get it to B from infinitely far away and this will be equal to my uh, W3 will be minus the work done to get it to A from infinitely far away okay so, so then the answer should work out to be positive instead of negative okay so let's work this out so what is W1 well, when we move the electron in position C, then there's no electrons here or here. They're all infinite, definite, infinitely far away, except now for the first electron I'm moving into this position. So there's not going to be any, there's not going to be any work need necessary to move the first electron into that position. Okay, so now, but now we move the second electron into that position. So now this is equal to minus the work done uh, to get it from infinitely far away to B. And then what is this equal to? This is going to be equal to Q V V infinity, and uh, what is this? Okay, Q I know. Now this is similar to the previous problem. So this is uh, V B minus uh, V infinity, but this is the potential infinitely far away is taken as zero. So this is just Q uh, V B. And this I know, I've got a formula for that. Remember, we used it in the previous two problems. So this is just going to be Q times K. Uh, okay, so now look carefully. I'm, I'm now moving the electron into this position, B. Now, what is the potential there at VB now? Well, it is, the, I now have to work out the potential there due to point charges. How many point charges? One. There's one from the previous electron that I moved into that position. So remember, the formula then is V equal to K Q over R, remember that formula? So I'm going to use that one, keeping in mind that there's an electron now in that position from the previous step. So it's going to be K Q over, and what distance is it? It is just L. Okay, nice. Now similarly, I might do the same for work done at uh, W3. So this is going to be equal to minus the work done by... Um, a to infinity, so same thing, uh, I'm just immediately going to write down, it's going to be Q, V, A, I'm now skipping these two steps, and what is this? Okay, so, now again this formula, now this is similar to pre question 6, where I've got multiple point charges, so now I'm moving the electron into that position, A, but now there are already electrons there and there, so what's the potential here at A, given that there is an uh, electron there and an electron there, charge is Q, well, it is going to be the sum of the, these two terms, one for each of, each of the electrons. Okay, so it's going to be the potential here due to that charge, which is going to, just going to be K Q over L, plus the potential here due to that charge, which is also K Q L. Okay, so in other words, equal to 2 
k q squared over l. Oh, I could have written it that here as well. So this is k q squared over l. Right. So this is the work work done. So what is the actual work done then? So the work done is equal to work one plus work two plus w three, and this is just plainly three k q squared over l. And now we've got to you again. I'm running a little bit out of space. Uh, so let's write calculate this. Um, okay, three. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm just going to three nine point zero times ten to the nine newton meter squared per coulomb squared times q one point six times ten to the minus nineteen coulomb squared over one point zero times ten to the minus 10 meters okay and we've got to calculate that um, okay so okay so that's going to be 3 times 9 times 1.6 squared and just divide by 1 which is fine so times 10 to the power what do we have 9 minus 19 minus 90 so minus 38 and then plus 10 okay so it's this much and I'm going to provide you two significant figures so this is um, 6.9 times 10 to the minus 18 in joules okay and there's the final answer so the only slightly cryptical step here might be this po point where I say it's minus these work values done but this notation this notation WC infinity means get the work done by the electric field whatever electric fields are present to get it from infinitely far away to C just like here the work done and get by the electric field on a charge to move it from A to B but the work that we would have to do whatever agent going against the electric field would have to be uh, minus that as you see these electrons have to be forced in this position so this step was done to ensure we get the positive answer for the exact and why do you want a positive answer this is again thinking of like a, a rock being carried up the stairs if you asked how much work have to, has to be done to move a rock from the first floor to the third floor and you then work out calculate the work that gravity would have to do you would get a negative answer like minus 300 joules or whatever that would not be the work the work that has to be done on the uh, on the on stone. I mean, somebody has to pick up the stone and carry it up, and then all he would have to work against gravity. So the work he has to do on the rock will cancel out the work done by the gravity. So we minus the work done by gravity. So that is what we used here. If you didn't do this and you just um, worked out these terms and added them all together, then you would have gotten exactly the same answer but it would have been negative so you could have done that and then just said well then the work has to be done or you could or you could have got a negative answer and then said well that is the work that the electric field would have to do to get uh, uh, when, when moving the electrons into that into this triangle configuration so the work that someone else somehow perhaps with magic tweezers of some sort to get the electrons to that configuration would have to be minus that so in other words this value okay